But was there really a flood? Like, the, you know, did all this stuff really happen, do you think? Well, how many floods? Uh -huh. And uh, there's something about the Bible wanting us to think we're five or 6,000 years old, and nothing is allowed to be dated older than 6,000 years in South America, even if it is older. And so, you know, there's, you know, the paradigm is trying to hold that story together. Uh -huh. uh, but there's more than one world flood. You know, the, there's now it's coming out that some 13,667 years ago um, that there was a major catastrophe that caused a worldwide flood. But what about before that and before that and before that? So, yes, of course. And there's watermarks on things. But even that, that Sphinx um, redating of the Sphinx, that was terribly exciting for us in the mm -hmm. 80s when all that happened. Mm -hmm. And they demonstrated that there would have been a lot of rainfall and that sort of thing. But then there's more information coming out now. Um, researchers that are saying it could be as old as 450,000 years, and that is absolutely earth-shattering, but they're presenting at these scientific conferences, and they're looking at the idea that there could have been a lake at the foot of the Sphinx that went all the way down to where Hawara is. So oh my gosh. Oh, we got to keep digging and digging and digging and see that it's layers upon layers upon layers. And if you have a minimum of three earth catastrophes, and I'm probably, you know, it's probably going to find out that there's more, um, and that shakes everything down. And, and then they're going to say, well, if they had diamond drill bits, find me the diamond. Well, if we dropped a diamond in my lawn here, we'd have a hard time finding it, even if we were standing there when we dropped it. Mm -hmm. You know, like you, you put three world floods on it <laughs> and you want to have the maybe have the proof of something that was carved with a diamond bit, but not the diamond itself. So, you know, we really are very mixed up in terms of how we do research. Um, I heard a, th a study the other yesterday, actually, <laughs> that uh, they wanted to replicate. Like the, I've, I've taught quantitative research methods to graduate students, so I understand how this stuff works. Right, right. Um, but um, basically, a proper research study is supposed to be reproducible. Uh -huh. That you, you put your methodology, you put your research question, you say the data, you show how you did the statistical analysis. And the point is, if someone else came along and took a sample of grade three students and ran the same tests and did the same process that they would end up with the same results uh, and then the other that's uh, reliability mm -hmm. and they found that 60 percent of the studies that they went to replicate didn't add up and didn't have the same results no way 60 percent 60 percent yeah and then there's the 10 minute study where a corporation will say, go to a scientist who's working for a university and say okay i'm going to ask you to write a paper that says that this product does this this and this and there's no side effects and I'll give you $250,000. And if you don't, I'll kidnap your kids and break your wife's kneecaps. What do you say? Oh, my <laughs> you know? God. Oh, okay, I'll say that's right. Give me the $250,000. And that's how research is done now. Wow. It's just, I mean, it's, if you really start digging in to, to find out how we ended up, you know, so confused and disconnected from extreme antiquity and from the truth about our past, uh, it's just amazing. The things you'll find. And the other thing, I'm just looking at a picture of Stonehenge on my desktop here. Um, you know, they date Stonehenge to a certain date, and then archaeologists, no, and then they back it up, and then, you know, a couple of years later, they back it up some more. You know, and, and but we come out, it's true, we know. It's like a, a lawsuit where they have to find somebody who's guilty and lock them up and close the case. Mm -hmm. Whether they're right or not, that doesn't come into play. And so we, we end up talking like that. This is the age. This is who built it. We don't know that. It's it's a it's you know it's way too precise, mm -hmm. and we also don't know what happened to it after it was built. So I always say the last time I painted my house is not the age of my house. It's the last time I did work on it. 